Hey kids, welcome back to Let's Play EU4 as Holland. Uh, last episode we gained our fifth province, Utrecht, which completes the um, which completes the Holland region. So we're now in what is it called areas in this game, um, which we're now in complete control of Holland itself, and we have this this we have Antwerp as well in uh, South Brabant. So. Things are progressing, slowly but surely. Uh, we do have, of course, um, more aggressive expansion, uh, because we are, after all, in the Holy Roman Empire. So I, I believe if, if, it, if this hasn't changed in recent uh, in, in the recent upgrades, like we, we do get more AE from you know small conquests like that than we would if we were playing uh, if we if we were conquering something outside of the Holy Roman Empire, but it doesn't it doesn't look that bad. So it should be manageable. Um, I guess I was holding off on clicking this one, which I think I'll do for now. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go to war soon. I should click this one soon, but I do think that we are behind. So not only do we have to finish out that defensive idea, is our focus set to military? Yeah. I'm almost hesitant to switch from military power to admin power, and I think it's a good idea because I just want to see what idea we're going to take next. That's the real question, and it's an interesting choice because I'd like to play a, uh, a tall Holland with a colonial focus, uh, and I'd like to try and get to the colonies as fast as possible. It is possible, even though we're Holland, it is possible for us to like... Well, I don't know if it is in this game, because I'm just looking at... Those islands have been taken. Yeah. Every once in a while, you can get one of the Canaries or something as Hollands and and kind of jumpstart your colonization. Uh, we can also just go... My, my idea is that we go around Africa into the Cape. Uh, I don't know if I'll pay too much attention to, uh, to the Caribbean at first. Um, and the thing is, I find if you want to go colonial, that it's really... Like second and third idea for say Holland or England are kind of key. Um, going with exploration and expansion, uh, and so the question is, do we go for? I think we have to go for exploration first. So I'm a little bit hesitant to switch over to admin points because we're going to need the diplo points after. So I'm. It, what might be better would be actually to to uh, promote that advisor. Let's take a look at our. Okay, our force limit's gone up, and we should we should keep we should try and keep everything at force limits as much as possible. Uh, it's, at one point, we were having a sailors problem. Uh, we are under our. Okay, this. What is this? A transport? That's weird. Okay, I built more ships or something. Let's just cancel his order and just combine these fleets. Okay, we need to core Utrecht as soon as possible. And yeah, I think I'm going to save my money for now. Exiled armies in Verdun. Yes. Okay, our army's over there. Let's get our army home. And drilling as soon as possible. How is our professionalism? Not bad. I'd like to get it higher. Did I take the... Yeah, I have the elite regiments one, so that's good. Alright, uh, let's unpause. Uh, one thing that I had, one thing that I wanted to consider as well, uh, I've got Savoy as an ally, which is not super useful. I've got Munster and Denmark. Denmark's a good ally. Wow, they've got a bunch over here too. Um, I just want to check here, what's our Diplo limit? Three out of four, so we can get another alliance. Let's take a look here. We're starting to get a bit bigger, which uh, I think... Which I think makes it more likely for certain countries to become allied with us. Brunswick would be a good ally. Munster we don't have a marriage with, so so we could we could kill the alliance with Munster and grab one with Brunswick. I'm just looking at our oh France would ally with us. I'm always hesitant as a country like Holland to ally with a big country like France because I, f I feel that there's a chance that they will draw us into war. Well they don't have any England doesn't have any territory left, so that's good. I don't want to be at war with England. Uh, who are France's rivals? Oh, cancel. 
but I want to see who are France's rivals. Because I'm very tempted to just grab France as an ally. Where do I see their allies? Their, um, not their allies, their, uh, truce with Portugal, Castilla, Navarre, England. And the Isles. Bunch of vassals, of course. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I have a feeling an alliance with France might be a real advantage. Uh, let's just scroll through the list and see who else we can get. It's a fairly important decision. If we ally with France, we're going to want to marry them. Brandenburg and Bohemia could be good allies. I would actually kind of like Austria. Too bad I can't sort these by name. I'm, I'm looking for Austria here. Um, let's see. Well, there are no. There are no. Okay, and they're. Okay, I can just look at the map. Uh, negative minus 80. Dutch army strength. So if our army gets stronger and. Too many diplomatic relations. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to get uh, Austria. Um, I think an alliance with France is not a bad idea. It might draw us into... See, these big big countries tend to fight wars against other big, powerful opponents. And and with such a small army, the, the worst thing is it's just so easy to get stack-wiped. Um, but I think it's a good idea. I think we'll do it. Okay. And then what I'm also tempted to do... Let's pass a day just to get that out of the system there. Uh, no. The Emperor... And Anhold is the Emperor? That's hilarious. That's really funny. I, how did I miss that? Is Austria even an elector? Jesus. Uh, that's that's bananas. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe there's some new parts of this uh, dynamic that I'm not understanding. I'm not giving that territory. Um, Jesus. Yeah, where's the Holy Roman Emperor map? I just want to make sure something weird hasn't happened that I missed. Austria's not an elector. And they're not emperor. Huh. Yeah, I'm not super, super clear on uh, how the new uh, uh, Holy Roman Empire works, but, uh, huh. That is bizarre. Well... I don't know. That might mean that we can be a bit more aggressive because uh, what's Anhalt going to do about it? Anyway, we're allied with France. <laughs> um, let's see if we can still get that ally with alliance with uh, I think Brunswick because they're just they're just bigger. They're just they're bigger than Munster got kind of walloped at some point and they're just not that good an ally. And I like the idea of having like a mid-sized ally in in. Um, the Empire. Of course, we could also just ally Bohemia. But, I don't know. I don't know if Bohemia is actually that powerful. I mean, they're certainly, they certainly have, um... They are an elector. And they have a lot of provinces. But they tend to kind of lag behind late, later on in the game. Especially once, once Poland does its thing. Hmm... Is Brunswick a Brunswick's a duchy, isn't it? Can we marry them? I just I, I'm trying to figure out. Oh yeah, no, no, they're not a duchy. They're a, oh they have a, okay, they're a duchy. They're not um they're not a bishopric. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, uh, Munz, I I'd really like to get rid of this alliance with uh, Munster because it's it you know the fewer the fewer um those bishoprics don't allow us to marry them. Brandenburg. You can ally with France and Castile. But France is, is um France is uh they have Castile as a rival. I'm also I also want allies that are that are in the same kind of the same area as I am. Uh, because I I don't like I don't I'm that's why I'm concerned about Bohemia. Sure they can march their army halfway across Europe, but we have a small army and 
I worry... I worry about, like, help not being close at hand. I think Brunswick's our best bet. As much as it would be nice to grab another heavyweight ally like uh, Castile or Bohemia or something, I think Brunswick is going to be more useful. And we can dump this alliance. I want to dissolve the alliance. One, two, three, four. I want to dissolve the alliance with Munster. Yeah, we've just we've traded up there. I think uh, Brunswick's going to have a bigger army. I got more provinces. Uh, who are they rival? I should have checked who they're rivaled with, but nobody I care about. They're rivaled with the emperor, so that's not ideal. But I just don't think it's a big deal. Okay. Um, now we got We should get those marriages. This guy is improving relations with outraged countries. Get the marriage with France. Oh, I need to combine my navy. Oh, Utrecht is no longer a valid rival. That's a shame. <coughs> okay, so Brabant is still allied with France as well. So these are provinces that I was really hoping to take as sooner rather than later. Just curious. France wouldn't fight us. France would not fight us. And we wouldn't be able to call any allies, though. Yeah, there's no way. That's too big. Too big an army. We need to pick out... Uh, so, what about Gal uh, Friesland? I'd like to... I could attack Friesland. It'd be nice to, like, weaken these, these allies here. Um... I think Galra is the is the correct next target though. They do do I have a claim? No, okay. I don't know why. Oh, humiliate rival, they're a rival. Okay, I need to pick a rival. Uh we've got choices here. I don't want to rival Austria, no fucking way. Flanders is not a bad idea. I want their lands. Friesland is uh, probably not a bad idea either. Picardy. Hey, no. Um, I would say Flanders or Friesland. Who's Flanders allied with? Ooh. Flanders is ripe for the picking. Uh, let's just see here. I always like to figure out what geographical areas the provinces are in. Yeah. What about these guys? Brabant. And Liege. Who's Liege allied with? France. Fucking annoying. But yeah, we could uh, we could st we could take Ghent. We could take Ghent and just kind of work down the coast here. The other thing that's challenging is... Okay, they're Flemish. I'd rather focus, focus, yeah, on the Flemish and Dutch provinces first, and kind of leave the balloon provinces to France for the time being. Flemish is an accepted culture. And the other, the other thing is that um, moving west rather than attacking, like these, these, these provinces are easier to take. Uh, these countries are easier to attack, um, but attacking westwards to Flanders, uh, some of these provinces might get eaten up by France. And if I can kind of grab what I want in this area uh, before having before uh, you know er early on, then then hopefully France won't come by and try and take them later. Uh, and then, then I can expand to the easier provinces. If I can get away with grabbing these early, I can expand to the e to the easier provinces here. Um, and then, but you know, once I've actually built a sort of consolidated the Netherlands, that then I'll, then it won't be a big you know then I then I then I can conceivably even fight a war against France. And these guys are super super weak, so I think they're a very good target, and I think we'll make them a rival. Uh, we should probably 
now. Um, what do we got? Costly trade embargoes. Ooh, you tracked. Ooh, that's bad. Can I break it off? Oh yeah, because they're just not a rival. Okay. I don't think I can actually. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I can revoke them, but I can't embargo. Okay, royal marriage with France. Do I have an heir? Yeah, it's almost worth um, killing off this king to get the better of min points. Minus 20 legitimacy, minus 50 prestige. Hmm. Give, this is giving us a lot of benefits. Probably worthwhile just waiting. Yeah, probably worthwhile just waiting. And I think I'm, I'll probably try and promote that guy as well. We're making... Whoa, we're making a ton of cash. Okay. And we're not even... Our trade ships are not even out. Okay, let's uh, let's get the army drilling going before I forget. Uh, and I'm curious... I have one transport. 23 light ships. Let's separate out that transport. I'm not going to delete it for now, anyway. No, I'll keep it, but... We had a sailor's problem last time. Which I, I've rarely ever had sailor's problems in this game. I just have a giant trade fleet, so I don't know how much... Should I should have done the math here. We have 22% of the English Channel. Uh, let's do an embargo on uh, one of our rivals here. Our new rival Flanders we can embargo. And then I think we'll start. Uh, I think we'll start building a spy network in Flanders. Uh, let's uh, build our build up to our force limit. What do we have here? Oh, I have. Uh, I could build a cannon. I think it's probably worth it. Usually, I know it's not usually worth building uh, building um, artillery brigades until or artillery regiments and, until the art, the artillery gets a little bit better. But I feel like as Holland as a rich country, uh, it, it can give us the edge early on. So let's do it. I only have three horse. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to build a. I'd like to build a, uh, a cannon, and then I'd like to actually build a horse once our force limit goes up I, again. Yeah. Can afford to build three more. Sh three more light ships if I want. Are you protecting trade? Yeah. All right. So we're twenty-two percent. I don't think it's the clock has ticked yet. So we should see an increase in the trade value here. Or a trade power. Yeah, that's that's a big, that's a very substantial change, up from 22 to 35 percent. So I, I just don't know whether are we going to have that sailor problem again? Base value from provinces, increased levies, nobility, army tradition. Da, 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 da. That's manpower. What am I looking at? Oh yeah, see, we're running around. Uh, currently, you gain 20 each month and use zero sailors on missions. Use zero sailors in missions. I don't understand this. Maximum sailors. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I think it's going back up. Yes. Predictable. Okay. Need 128 for that. And I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start doing our spy network here. I should also check. I will start rolling the clock more quickly here. But I just there's a number of things I want to check before we before we start going here. Uh, I, I would also like to check um, what our. Okay, I want to go to the diplomacy screen and check what our like desired provinces are. Oh, it's up here. Diplomatic feedback. Provinces of interest? Yeah. So, can we add one? Yeah, well, let's just hold off on that for now. Maybe that's... What this province? It's Dutch. Yeah.
Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll add these ones too. Just kind of gradually expanding. Trying not to overstep. Bruges. I'll add, I'll add Bruges as well because it's bordering France. They're not interested in it either. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's starting to look a lot better. Kind of a wide array here. I don't think there's any reason not to actually add... Fuck. Um, not to actually add these other provinces here. I want the two East Frisian provinces as well. I don't care about Oldenburg. don't care about anything down here. Don't particularly want to take... I want to limit the number of cultures that I have. Get the most out of each province. I'm going for this sort of min minimalist approach. Flemish. Yeah, we'll take that one too. At this point, I think... I, I'm, not, I'm going to avoid the Walloon provinces for now. Because some of them kind of overlap with France's kind of sphere of influence to some degree. But yeah, we'll try and unite the Dutch and uh, Dutch and Flemish provinces. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. That's it. So we'll we'll leave the balloons alone for now. Okay. Uh, another thing I noticed, I've been learning a lot more about these estates. Um, are in order to remove the estate privileges, I didn't, I just didn't know this. Uh, the the loyalty needs to be higher than the influence, so I need to be a little bit, a uh, little bit careful about letting the. And I, you know, when you give a lot of privileges, some of these privileges um, are going to uh, basically make it harder. They're going to make it harder to uh, keep the loyalty above the influence. And also, I've noticed things like, if we go hover over burgers, development cost, where is it here? Has an influence level of 75.2. So I'm already having this problem. They have, like, they, they have, their, there's their land share, centers of trade, high trade income, diet summons, and yeah, we've got a lot of things, like it's going to be kind of hard to get rid of some of these things. I, it's going to be very hard to take privileges away from the burgers, except by removing their lands. And we can get this down to maybe 70% 70, 70 by by um, by taking away pretty much all their land, but but it's going to be very hard. So when events pop up, I'm going to need to, I'm going to, need to pay attention to that. Um, I didn't realize how... It's not. It's not good. I mean, you you get you can get revolts if you get up to a hundred percent influence, but it's still it's not good to have this this high um, in the long in the long run. It will make it hard to revoke any of these things. Now, most of these things, like I know that they there's a pretty substantial. I've got a total of like minus ten, twenty, minus thirty absolutism. So that's like a bad penalty in the long run, I think. But most of these things also have a lot of good benefits. So if I get stuck with them in the long term. I feel like it's not that big a deal. Um, max absolutism, minus 10. Yeah, most of these don't have that much, that many bads. Like, power costs, I guess, not ideal. Uh, but the only other negative we have, other than the absolutism, is the tax modifier. So, at the end of the, uh, you know, end of the day, if we get stuck with these, it's not that big deal. But let's take a look here. Clergy land rights, nope. Uh, religious state, we already gave them, right? Did we? Yeah. Okay. Missionary maintenance costs. Don't care about that. The only thing that would be worth doing here, maybe, is the clerical advisory council. But yeah, it gives them more influence. I feel like that's just not worth it. And I think we also get some new ones uh, once we go Protestant. Monthly military power. I think we can do this one now. This is probably worth it. Now, 
Influence level of 63. Loyalty equilibrium is currently at 67.9. Primacy of the nobility. Okay, this was going to create... It does not affect... It doesn't affect influence, but it's going to decrease our loyalty. We lose crown lands. 10 crown land. We can't do it yet anyway. Okay, I will do it though. It's just, it's worth it. Uh, our current agenda is have to have a legitimacy of 90. That's good. We've got a bunch of, we've got four royal marriages now, so we should be able to get to that reasonably quickly. And we can always, uh, we probably shouldn't spend mil, mil points to do that, but still. Right. Six plus six. Question is, can I afford the more expensive advisor? Um, let's do it. Yep, I'm gonna do this. Even though I'm saving up in min points, I'm gonna do this. Technology cost minus 10, that's good. We are pretty much ahead on technology, but still. Transfer trade power from France. What the fuck? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what the uh, penalty for declining this is. Because this is like bad news. There's just no way that we want to transfer trade power to the fucking French. I've seen allies doing this before. England was doing this with us too. It's basically a form of bullying. I don't know, guys. I'm going to decline. I'm going to decline. A um, couple reasons. First of all, they're stuck in a royal marriage with us, so that it might affect their have a negative effect on their um, opinion of us. But they're stuck in a royal marriage, and actually, in some ways, the best case scenario is to have a royal marriage but not an alliance with France, because um, they won't draw us into wars. Maybe that's maybe that's wrong, but I think there's there can be an advantage to that. Let's put it that way, because it kind of prevent it kind of punishes them if they do want to attack us without actually giving us any obligation towards them. Um, okay, we now have an opportunity to break our alliance with Savoy. I'm gonna look at the alliance screen once again. And I'm not I don't see too much that is tempting. Brandenburg maybe. They're just not in a very useful place. Neither is Savoy. Savoy was an ally when we were fighting when we were worried about fighting Burgundy. Um Hainaut could be a good ally. Even though they're a three province. I mean, Savoy is not all that. I mean, yeah, they're, they're fairly substantial. Let's just stick with Savoy, Savoy for now. Our, our Hopefully our king is going to die at some point, so... We got our cannon, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get that advisor upgrade. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to start to perhaps start doing buildings with my money, but it, the thing is with the advisor we won't be afford to be able to do buildings. Hmm. We have that mission to what does this give us though? Fifty admin power and yearly tax income plus ten percent for twenty five years for five churches and five workshops. Churches and workshops are definitely a good thing for us to be building at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll get more gain out of that. Do we already have one church? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can't build it because it's not a... Can we? Is that the problem? Or is there no building slot? What have we got here? Oh, it's got a cathedral. Oh, that counts then, doesn't it? Replaces church. Yeah, okay. Neat. That's, uh, that's good. Okay. This is probably worth doing. These are also five good provinces. I like to build churches and provinces with only plus, like, 0.2, but it's this is these are good provinces too. So uh, let's hold off on the advisor and build some churches, get this mission done. We're making income now. Probably build some more trade ships too, although I'm kind of holding off as well for... Uh, I'd like to build a flagship. 
purchase an ability. We're still in the Age of Discovery. Uh, okay, Adaptive Combat Terrain of Capital. What is the terrain of our capital? Farmlands. That's actually remarkably good, considering how much farmlands are around here. Um, we don't need that. Aggressive Expansion Impact minus 10%. I think that's going to be the best one. Uh, we got to make use of it, though. There's not much of this age left. I don't focus much on these uh, age goals in the Age of Discovery because you just don't get that much use out of these um, out of these these choices here. Higher developed colonies is a good one. If you can snag a couple colonies before the Age of Discovery, uh, getting that extra boost to development is not a bad thing. Uh, this is not worth it. Improved war taxes is great. This is free war taxes, basically. But we're not going to be at war very often. Transfer subject, obviously, is, is excellent as well. But I'm not really doing any vassal shenanigans. Yeah, I don't think there's a... I think there's an easy choice. Justified wars. We are falling badly behind on min points. And we do have to core this. We just don't have a choice. We might have to change to a min focus. If I increase the, if I increase this guy too, it's just gonna eat up all my income. Yeah, and now we've got like an even spread too. Okay, well it is too bad to do that, do it that way, but I really like to keep my. Um, okay, we're gonna make this a core. That'll increase our income too by coring it. We're gonna build those churches and workshops and get that mission done. Awesome. You can hold off on trade ships for now, anyway. Might as well do this while we're burning off our, our um, aggressive expansion. Okay, uh, I'm going to claim that province. Uh, claim, fabricate claim. Oh, I need 30. Fuck. Miners, yeah. We're way ahead on uh, everything except the min points. Some of these claims, these early, uh, some of these early conquests are costing us in terms of those, that coring cost in terms of min points is it's not the best part of the game to be expanding. For sure. And we're definitely going to take a Diplo idea next. Military access from Provence. They're at war with Brittany and Galera. Yeah, they're probably just taking a, uh, a Breton province. Okay, that's 30. I always forget about doing that. I want Ghent. 13 development. And we'll want to be taking Bruges as soon as possible. 25 years. That should be fine. Yep. I, hope, I just hope they haven't done some stupid alliance. Yeah. I could almost just nail them right now. Seven K. It's a little bit risky. Um, just because of the AE, not because of anything else. But grabbing Ghent now, waiting for the truce is o waiting till the truce is over, and then grabbing Bruges afterwards would be good. So I'm wondering whether it would be worth it to try and grab Ghent and Bruges. We do have the alliance with France for now. What's France's trust with us? Fifty. They don't owe us any favors. We should probably we should probably increase their opinion of us at some point. It's probably worth grabbing Ghent now. I don't think I think taking two provinces. This is an, uh, a higher development province too. I think it's just going to be too much for aggressive expansion. 
it's going to be too much. Mind you, I'm also having this this bottleneck with admin points where I really, really need to get to. I really need to get to the next admin tech here. Of course, we're pretty ahead on technology in general. It's not like we're running behind or anything. It's just like, hmm. The other thing too is that it's quite possible that Flanders will get a more powerful ally, and that's not going to help. So I think I'm better off to wait until the morale here goes back up and do it right away. I think we can probably sustain the aggressive expansion. It's also never good, never a good idea to be at war when uh, you're building buildings because you can lose the, the progress on them. This is in Zealand. Okay. Take Ghent. Uh, let me just make sure that I've embargoed them. Uh, where am I looking here? I'm looking for power projection, embargoing Flanders, embargoing Brabant, embargoing Galera. Yeah. Okay, because you can't do an embargo. Hopefully, we can keep them as a as a as a rival. We also get uh, we get power projection from having eclipsed Utrecht, which is cool. In conquering provinces, like we'll get we'll get power projection for conquering provinces from uh, from a from a rival. This is a good trick with Holland. I've found I've, I've I've I did a few test runs, not extensive, but a few test runs, for a couple hundred years or whatever, before starting this let's play and. I do remember it being good to kind of, you know, um, rival countries and then grab land from them. But let's grab Ghent then. I don't see... I think we'll be fine. I don't think they can really do much damage to us. Do they even have... They don't have any uh, cannons, so that's going to be a pretty big advantage too. And the only their ally is way over there. Grab our war goal. Are they locked in there? Uh, should I stack wipe them? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Oh, I have to go to the fort. And I can't, uh, I cannot use my navy. It's not a sea province. Um, I'm going to hold off on buildings right now. Grabbing that other province should give us uh, another point of... Oh, cool. We destroyed their navy and captured a light ship. That's awesome. Seem to be having a sailor's bottleneck. Again. We just need to, I think we just need to take more sea provinces to deal with that. That's the key. Obviously development would help as well. That's good. Yeah, I really should be slowing down this expansion though, because this is this business with the admin points is not ideal, especially with that. Our royal marriage with France is over. Let's fix that. Okay, just for. And let's actually increase relations with France, as I said. Relations, improve relations. Whether or not we stay allies with them long term, we should definitely have a good relationship with France. I'm just really hoping that I can grab the territory I want without having to fight them. I don't. I'm not. I don't need to get to our like total mission. Okay, rebel uh, um, in Utrecht. Not surprising. Are we under siege anywhere? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. This is taking forever, obviously, predictably. Tempted to go to speed 5, but I will uh, perhaps hold off. There's no real rush here. We're just making money. Patrolling in the English Channel. How are we doing for uh, Crown Land? 
or not, yeah. We should seize more crown land soon, that's what we need to do. As soon as we're at peace, we can seize crown land. Keep forgetting to do that. We are going to have an uprising very soon. Stack wipe their army. Hopefully. Yeah. Yep. And now we will actually send the navy to... We're having a sailor's problem again. Oh, let's just send it to the coast of Holland. I'd like to get one of those events that gives me a cheap skill 3 advisor. Oh, I, th I think it's pretty safe to build these churches. Let's go with Antwerp. That'll be our fifth church. Mm, Diplo points or prestige? Uh, I don't think we have much of a use for the Diplo points. Probably going to get some prestige from this war, though. I don't know. Yeah, the, the bottom line with these, uh, with the estate interactions is that we're going to want to be taking away some privileges in the late game, and so we do need to kind of set things up for loyalty. Now, mind you, we can use the diet to gain loyalty. Uh, and we, I should pay a little bit more attention to lo the loyalty. I was When I was looking at those diet missions in the first couple episodes, I was thinking like, well, you know, I don't really see the advantage to... Uh, should I go all the way over there and siege them down for like a, a tiny bit of war reps? I don't feel like it. I have no diplomats to send. Cancel this one for now. Oh, I sunk their fleet. That's good. Um, looks like if I take Ghent again, no coalition. If I do that, yeah. See, that's that is not that's not sustainable, for sure. There's just no way. Uh, I could even afford the diplo diplo points too. I could annex them. Um, uh, I could afford the Diplo points to do that, but uh, this is, this is no, this is, this is not on. Like, you know, Austria in a coalition against this is just not on. So I, this was good. This was a good move. But, um, we're also, we're also going to get that demand from the Emperor there. But it's, it was cool that we got that age objective. Uh, suggest demands. So they're going to give us Gents. Flanders will give... Oh, interesting. Give a core to Burgundy? I don't know if I like that idea. Seed provinces, return cores to Burgundy. Let's take a look at that, actually. Do I want this province? I don't think it's on my list. That might not be such a bad thing. I don't, I don't think it's going to make a big difference, to be honest. Um, whether Burgundy has it or not, uh, I don't. I don't want that province. I think. Do I? No, I don't. It's not on my list of provinces that I want. So, not for now, anyway. In the long term, I probably will, but I don't. Yeah. Hmm. Seed Ghent to Holland. Give cores. Rizal to Burgundy. War reps. 105 ducats. Conquest casts his belly. Holland suffers a base of... Alright, let's do it. I'm realizing something. Did I even click this fucking high income building? Ugh. Foolishness. I was holding off and building buildings, and then of course... And then of course I forgot to click the button before I'm actually building them, so... Pretty stupid, in my opinion. However. Alright. Alright, that's a cheaper core cost. We're still building up points there. We're not that far behind. It's time to build workshops. How much was Ghent? I'm curious on the the church. Uh, where's... Does Ghent already have a church? No. Oh, we can't build a church in, in Ghent. Hmm. Okay. 
I'd be curious to see. All right, let's do workshops. Um, the hag, all these are worth building workshops in overall. How many do I already have? You have a workshop. You do not. You do not. Just making sure. Do I have these? No possible buildings can be built here. Let's wait until that church finishes. Just want to make sure I build the workshops in the best possible spots because I'm only going to build five for the time being. It's not that advantageous for us to be building workshops this early in the game. Um, outrage countries. There we go. We're going to max out our relations with France. Let's get these guys. Um, yeah, I figured that would happen. Costly trade embargoes, indeed. Let's get you back doing your job. Protect trade, English Channel. Hope we have enough sailors now that we've taken another province. <coughs> These guys have a coastal defense. These are such cool buildings, but I feel like no one ever builds them. Blockade force required, hostile disembark time. Like, these are not great advantages, but they're so cool. I just... There's so much cool stuff in this game that is not useful. And it pisses me off. Like, if you're going to put this... You know, make it make it vitally useful. I guess it would be useful in, like, I don't know, Gibraltar or something, or Malta. Um, okay, we need to get rid of this trade embargo. We need to find another rival. No. I don't think we want anything there. I think Friesland is the best bet. Our next attack will probably be... I think we should actually hold off and just attack Flanders again. Grab Bruges. Because that's it. If I get to Bruges, then... Then I've taken all the provinces that I want. I want Bruges, and then I want to... Hopefully I can... Oh, wow. Vermont is not allied with France anymore. Awesome. Yeah. So, next target is either uh, is either Brabant. Probably, I, as much as I'm tempted to grab these two provinces, I probably want to grab that one and that one. Uh, what do we need to farm Holland again? Form, du form Dutch nation. We do need uh, Breda and Galera. But, like I said, I, I'd like to... I know we have some missions... Uh, I know we have some missions in... Uh, I'm going to just click this because it's going to drive me insane. Uh, I know it's not that good a bonus, but uh, it would be better during war, but I, I'm not... I'm going to drive me insane having that thing up there. Um, we can invest in a new idea. Defensive idea. Awesome. How far are we from attack? Pretty far. That's awesome. Uh, and... Yeah. No. These two provinces are the next targets. Afterwards, it's going to be these two. And then we'll, we'll mop up the rest of Holland. Now, what I wanted to do is look in the missions here and take a look at what we need for these various missions. Yeah. So, unite the lowlands. Oh, that's annoying. We need this one. Fuck. Huh. Well, still. I don't think this is a big priority, though. Yeah, these the, the rewards for these suck. Like I'm these are just not I'm I'm kind of frustrated with the mission trees here because I you know, I really like England's mission tree because usually the way it works is it's like take some provinces, gain some cl some free claims on other provinces. So I may just completely ignore these missions. I'm probably just going to take what I want and ignore these missions. Um cuz they're not super well designed some of these. I just don't I don't like the rewards and I don't like them pigeonholing me into taking provinces that I don't want. Yeah, because my my real plan here was to grab the Dutch and Flemish provinces, which will give us a pretty solid foothold in the <coughs> English Channel. And I would like to, if at all possible, avoid conflict with France in the meantime. Yeah, so these provinces here. That'll give us a nice, uh, nice chunk of the English Channel. We're already at uh, 24%. And I'm going to be building marketplaces soon. 
Because, like I said, I'm I'm going tall. So I, I again, I know marketplaces are another another improvement that I know are of kind of dubious use according to some people. And uh, for the way I'm going to be playing this, I think they I think they're going to help a lot in the short and medium term. Oh boy, I forgot that we had uh, revels coming up there. Let's um, embargo Friesland. Okay. Uh, I need you. You're not drilling, which is actually kind of good. Uh, we need to set up our diplomats here to do outrage countries. Let's just do that for now. Let's take a look at our our aggressive expansion. Pretty much. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Was that province in the empire? I didn't even check. Yes. Yeah, my, it's not my plan to like conquer all the English Channel at any point. Like at any point in this game, I, I my idea is to is to gain trade power in the English Channel through other means than conquests, and try try and try and build an empire that I think is somewhat sustainable, so that we can go colonizing. And later on, once we've set up a colonial empire, I'll start to think about whether we want to become a more dominant power in Europe. I just, I, that's, I just like to play Holland that way. I think it's more interesting. It might not be optimal. Uh, I'm still waiting on that church. I just, I want to see what the decline. Whoa, okay. What do we got here? Savoy, our fifth ally is requesting that we come to their aid in the Savoy conquest of Saluzzo against against Saluzzo. Saluzzo is allies with Provence, Switzerland, and Urbino. Hmm. I am going to drop a save. I know it may feel like I'm safe coming at this point, but I'm going to drop a save. Um, you guys can stop drilling. And I think we want to accept this. I just don't want to end up fucking up one of my alliances with France or whatever. Uh, it's I, We can't see their allies either, can we? Yeah, this is fine. Totally. Okay. Let's try and uh, let's try and help them out and get some more score. How much of an army do the Swiss have? Not much. Uh, as much as it is bad advice to march into the Swiss Alps, we do not have a transport. We can't get there. Oh, that's a shame. I really should start building a transport navy, huh? Do we have the force limit? Yeah, I'm gonna. I think. Uh, I think what we've done here is I've overbuilt trade ships. I'm probably not getting much of a benefit from some of those extra trade ships. So, I think uh, it's going to be time to sell some trade ships and build up a small transport fleet um, because I don't think there's any way for us to. We could go. If we could get military access through Hino, France. And Burgundy. Or no, Hino and France would be enough. Let's see if I can get it through France. If I can't get it through France, then I'm not going to bother. Access. Ask for military access. Yep. Okay. They're allied with us, so that's actually quite useful. Now, we just need to get to... We just need to get to France. Can we even... No. Can I get military access here? I'm willing to pay the diplo points to get it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Be nice to get some favors from, uh, from. from Savoy. Let's 
start by fighting some defensive battles here. Well, I don't know. Are we going to make it on time? Doesn't really matter. We'll stack wipe them anyway. Okay. And then... We're going to get some pretty bad attrition if we go up there, eh? This is bad, bad country for, for attrition. Florence. Ooh, Florence has kind of a big army. They don't have any cannon, though. Oh, that they're at war with Florence as well. Florence, yeah, okay. Well, that's that's kind of not very useful. Why can't I go anywhere? It do, oh, because it's just the end of the battle. Okay, that's fine. Just kind of slow the game down for a second here. I think I can defeat the Swiss army if I don't take too much attrition getting there. If I if I do, then just scout this out and see if they're actually in the fort. How bad is the attrition? 3%. I've got lots of manpower. Okay. Church is done. Workshops. Yeah. Because it's... Oh, it's gems. That's awesome. Two. Three. We've met our goal for churches, that means. It's just a fun mission. I don't know why I even follow these missions sometimes. Because, again, we just don't get that big a bonus from them. But it doesn't say I have, we have five churches. Hmm. I don't fucking know. I'm sure we do. Or does the cathedral not count? Are you kidding me? The cathedral doesn't count as a church for the mission? Well, fuck that. I'm going to have to build a church in Ghent then. Not the end of the world, I guess, but... That's fucking stupid. Or maybe the mission is build five churches. Maybe it doesn't count if it was already there. Uh, fortification experts. Stay home, for sure. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to sort out that navy thing. We will have we'll have more military points to spare. Why is this guy idle? Are there no outrage countries? That doesn't seem right. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Still. Still. Interesting. Threatening countries. Right, oh, we're at war again. We don't fail that diet mission. I I don't like micromanaging these stacks. I I could probably reduce the number of uh, troops there to reduce attrition or whatever, but I just don't like micromanaging uh, stacks on sieges. How is... Why is... Why are they losing... Okay, no, it's up to 30%. Okay. And just double-checking, make sure they're not building some huge army. Uh, so I guess... We need the other... Oh yeah, we're waiting to core... Ghent. Let's wait until Ghent cores. Uh, and build a church there. Our income should be getting pretty high at this point, yep. Those churches pay off real fast. What I want to see is... Yeah, Ghent's... Ooh, Ghent's a real shit province. 
Maybe we need to wait a month for it to accord. I don't think that's true, though. I think the... Maybe it's just a, it's not a low development province. I think we're just not getting the full benefit. Okay. Why is that only point point zero one? I don't I don't understand. Uh, what's the base? That I don't get it. I don't understand why the it's supply limits. No. Tax. Okay. I guess it makes sense. Tax income efficiency. Unlawful territory. Okay, that's why. Okay. Well, I'm going to build the workshop first. So once the unlawful wa territory... What other modifiers were there? there? God, that unlawful territory is increased levies, patronage of the arts, local autonomy modifies... Okay, so it's just autonomy. Right. Oh, it's also a st not a state, is it? It's an expensive process. However, we're going to be we're going to be grabbing uh, Flanders. We're going to be ga grabbing um, Bruges afterwards. So it's not a bad idea to have it as a state. I'm tempted to grab this province too, to be honest. I don't think we're quite ready to fight Burgundy, and certainly not as they're allied with France. That's okay. Uh, okay. Rubino accepted peace with Savoy. Siege down this fort. And we can go kill the Swiss. That's awesome. They seem to be... They seem to have just retreated from a battle with another army. And I think that's... That's awesome. What do we gain from winning these battles in terms of prestige and stuff. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Grab some prestige, some army tradition. Very few losses. I think I think that that choice to build a cannon was a really good idea. Switzerland accepted peace, and we're now only at war with Saluzzo. I think we're going to get some favors out of this. Let's build a uh the last... I think that should be it for workshops. Make sure we have enough... We may have to do some development to get some more buildings at some point. Five prestige and one stability. What's our stability? Plus three. Fucking wicked. Oh, we have papacy points. Let's get some... Uh, let's get some... Yeah, Mang power recovery speed. Church tax is great. Bless ruler. No. I would kind of like to do this one, because we're trying to meet that legitimacy goal. But the better one is to actually wait, and or get... The better one is the mercantilism. Legitimacy is going up by 2.5 per year. That means it'll take 20 years for us to get to max legitimacy. This mission expires in less than 20 years. So I'd say if we don't want to fail that little mission, we should probably spend the papal points here and grab the your le legitimacy plus one. And let's see here. Do we want five prestige for the stability? No. Pretender regiments, 13 regiments is not good. Our army's down here. Lose 10 prestige and have a bunch of bad... I mm, don't think we have a choice. Normally I would, I think I would have taken the pretenders, but uh, I, our army is rather preoccupied and also only 13, it's only 12. Um, not brigades, but you know what I mean. 
12 regiments, so definitely a bit risky. Um, I think we should start spying on these guys. Again, let's just get a claim on Bruges. Covert actions, build spy network. And that's that war done. I'm going to end this episode here. We got 26 favors from uh, Savoy. And let us now... Have we embargoed all of our, our arrivals? Friesland, Brabant, and Galra, yes. Let's uh, seize lands. And then let's give, let's get some military points from the nobility at the expense of crown lands and loyalty. Okay. And from this point on, um, I, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I, I was thinking that this was actually not such a bad deal. Uh, you know, sort of basically getting up to 40%, taking the cash, doing it again, you know. Uh, I was thinking that this was not such a bad deal, uh, but I think this is something that is only worth doing if you're really desperate for cash. Uh, because it's going to take us a lot of, like, basically what we can do is we can build up a bunch of crown land. Like, if we can get up to, like, 60 or 70% crown land, now that we've given all these privileges to the estates, uh, and maybe we'll get some more interesting choices here. I think when we turn Protestant, and I think there's some new uh, privileges that appear later in the game. Uh, that's my f feeling, anyway. So I think that we should be, by at this point, there's nothing else I really, no other privileges I really want to give them here. Oh, yeah, no, unless it's... I don't think this one's worth it. I think that the influence is is, uh, is not great. It's going to be hard to get rid of that burger's influence because they because of their, our, our trade focus. Center of trade, high trade income. Yeah, these ones I think are... These ones to me seem easier to get rid of. But yeah, we're basically at this point just going to try and get as much uh, as get as much crown land as possible now that we've given now that we've gotten all those privileges. Yeah, try and take some land away from uh, take some land away from the uh, nobility at some point as well. However, we can do that. Okay. So I think that's it. I think that's good. We uh, we grabbed another province. I am working on building a, a spy network here again, so that as soon as our truce is done with Flanders, which is going to be in '94, uh, we will have a claim on that province and grab it right away. Hopefully, they won't get into some kind of. They are allied with Switzerland now, but we just stack wipe Switzerland, so not a big deal. But I'd like to grab this province before they make uh, any kind of silly alliances. It was a bit stupid of me to let Burgundy take this province. Uh, but I guess we're just not going to be taking this province for now. It's a, it's not a bad province, but I would rather either of these ones. Uh, this this one here is a is a center is a is a natural harbor. Um, I've also uh, almost built all my workshops and churches for that silly mission. Um, so I will continue to build those buildings. I think it's not a bad idea. I would like to upgrade Antwerpen's center of trade. I would like to upgrade, I would like to get Bruges and upgrade its center of trade to two. And then I would like to build market pla marketplaces in, in all these center of trades. Probably a next, a good, you know, this province here will be a pretty high, uh, Ostfriesen will be a pretty high, um, uh, priority province, build a marketplace in the estuary. And we're going to try and get trade power through, essentially, once we've conquered our sort of key, uh, you know, Dutch and Flemish area here, we're going to get trade power through essentially peaceful means by building tall and uh, building up sort of marketplace type infrastructures, eventually getting some more development going once we have the monarch points to spare. And yeah, that's going to be the basic uh, the basic gist of the strategy. And I, and as for and then we'll be taking next episode. We should get the admin power to finally take this the our, our next idea group, which will be a diplomatic idea group. 
We should be also finishing out this this idea group should be finishing out reasonably quickly, which means we'll get uh, we'll get uh, Dutch trading spirits as well soon, which gives us another merchant, which in the early game I find really awesome. And yeah, we're going to be starting to build a colonial empire. We're going to go beelining colonial because we're actually getting uh, surprisingly close to having the, the size of territory that I would like for that early colonial gameplay. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Ciao.